And hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Sim Games TO, and I am your host, Tony, and we are going to be continuing our build of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan in the prairies of Canada. And so let's take a look at how everything is going in the city. And looks like the area of Stonebridge uh, is starting to fill up. That is where we have left off last time. Let's take a look at the park. And we've had 49 visitors last week, totaling 1303 and counting. And that is going just fine. So let's add in some more residential areas here and city services. So let's go ahead and do that. I will start off with a fire. We have a fire station there. It's EMS that we needed to put in. So let's put an EMS station in here. Over here is going to be good. And we're going to go ahead and name it. And that will be called the Hartley and Milney. Hartley and Milney. Milne EMS just as such and we'll select that to random fantastic and so residential demand couldn't be higher and higher in our city right now so let's go ahead and put some of those in and we'll put them nice and we'll start with uh, them being nice and close to the school and park area that's where people want to live next to parks and schools um, so we're going to fill some of that in. Then we'll continue on with the build. Um, let me just put all this in in this area here. And I'll fill up this area too over here. Uh, I might leave that for some commercial zone later. We'll see uh, how that develops and see what the Sims needs are at the time. Okay. And up to there. I might just I'll fill in this few areas over here as well. Let's go ahead and get that as well. Good. All right. So that's good enough for now. Um, I may just I'm going to fill in this area too. I'll put residential there as well. Fill that in. And we may put some commercial along there, some more residential in there. But the uh, city's up to 9,300 people. Uh, Stonebridge is at uh, 1,600, of, a population of 1,600, so not bad. Okay, so we're going to continue our build. We're going to concentrate on the uh, southeast part of this district here. Let me see what it's called. Um, Eastview, that is the Eastview district. Um, I'm going to go ahead and paint it in. Um, paint, paint it in as the Eastview District over here. There we go. And let's go and put that in there. Just like that. That's the area we're going to work in, work on in this segment. So that is Eastview. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, put in Oh, look at that. Already at $51 uh, a square meter for land value. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's let's see what's going to go in here. Uh, there seems to be a park that comes in here. Let's see what streets we're at here. Uh, Cumberland and uh, Wilson and Ruth Street. Okay, so let's see what's going to come in here. Cumberland, Wilson, Ruth Street. Yeah, there's a park that goes in there. Uh, Jarvis Drive it comes around there, and then there's a park that goes in there. So let's go ahead and put that in. So uh, Jarvis Drive here, just as such. So that'll be Jarvis Drive. Okay. And let's see what else comes in here. So there is going to be um, Ir Irvine Avenue. Cascade comes in. So there's Irvine Avenue here. Okay, and Cascade comes into it like that. Let's go ahead and name it. So Irvine Avenue. Irvine Avenue. 
And we have Cascade Street that will also be extended to Irvine, just like that. There we go. And, uh, and then we seem to have a couple of uh, squig well, not squiggly, but diagonal roads here on Clinkskill Drive. Um, actually, before Clinkskill, let me put in the one before that. So, Easty Drive is going to come in before there, before that. Easty Drive. Okay, it comes in like that. Good. And then we have uh, Clinkskill Drive. There we go, like that. That's how it actually goes. And let's go ahead and name those. So we have Easty Drive. Easty. No, that's not how it's spelled. Let me double check. SD or e, SD Drive, I suppose, is how that would be pronounced. And Clink Skill Drive. Clink Skill Drive. There we go. And I'm sure there's a road that comes out from there. Yeah, there is. Of course there is. Uh, Blaine Avenue. So I'll just come out from there to there. And that is going to be Blaine Avenue. Okay, Blaine Avenue. And there's a park that goes in there. So let me get the park tool. Let's put that in there. And it is called the Herald Tatler North Park. Let me get the name here. Harold Tatler Park North. There we go. Okay, so let's go to name it. There we go. Just like that. Okay, so then let's see what comes to the north here. We are going to have... Um, okay, so Hilliard ends. So we have... Uh, that's interesting. So we have Louis Avenue. Uh, Louis Avenue, Murphy Crescent that goes on the bottom. Okay, so let me get Louis Avenue in. Now, let's put Louis Avenue in. So that's Louis Avenue. No, Louis Avenue. And then we're going to have uh, Murphy Crescent. Murphy Crescent that kind of goes like this. There we go, just like that. So that is called Murphy Crescent. Murphy Crescent. And uh, Isabella Street will connect into. No, oh, no. We'll make it straight, straight, straight. Okay. Let's try this again. Uh, there we go, like that. That is Isabella. Extends to there. Okay. And there's another road down here, Adelaide Street. Um, we have a little, we didn't put in Adelaide Street. Okay, we don't have room for it, so that's okay. We'll leave. Uh, well, you know what? I, I won't put it in here. Uh, maybe a little straighter than that. I'm going to put in Adelaide Street. There we go. Adelaide, oh, Adelaide Street. Okay, there we go. And let's see, the road is going to come up here. So Adelaide, oh, Adelaide actually keeps on going. Uh, I, I put it in wrong. Uh, let me change that. So that actually comes up over here. Adelaide. It actually goes out to Preston. Like that. There we go. That's how Adelaide actually goes. So, Adelaide Streets. Okay. And then... Uh, Porteous Crescent. Uh, Porteous Crescent over here. Two Crescents that will come here. So Porteous Crescent. And then there's a second one that comes in here. I'll grab its name. There we go. Okay. So Porteous Crescent. 
uh, Orteus Crescent, and the other one is called uh, Postchen Crescent. Postchen Crescent. There, just like that. So that fills in that area. And I'm going to move to the east and continue to fill in this area over here in east view. So let's find out what goes over here. It looks like we're going to have a couple of parks going through. That's going to be nice. A welcome thing. Uh, so I'll start with uh, center, east center. That's what it's called. And east center I'll just goes up to Louise Street. What is that? Yeah, Louis Street. Okay, so East Center just goes goes up to Louis Street. And let me find it there. We're going. Oops, no. Um I'm just finding the right place for it. It's about right. It's about right like that. Okay. East Center. E center. It's called E center. E center. Okay. Oh no, it's uh, spelled R E. Okay. We have East Drive that comes through. So that that'll be East Drive, and then there's like a crescent that comes around there. Put that in as well. Okay. So we have East Drive. East Drive, and then there's um, this is actually all called this is also called E Center. E Center somehow. Okay, well, so be it. Okay, and so this is the James Anderson Park that goes in here. Let's use a smaller brush. There we go. That is called the James Anderson Park. I'm not sure. I may not put that one in exactly. I may not want because it it's too close and there's one park below to the south of there. So you know what? I'm going to remove this park. I'm going to actually... Just put the park down here. Um, I will leave that as is. Um, Kiskaskin Park. So we have like a crescent that comes down East View. So call this East View. That's East View. East view, uh, just East view, simply, simply as that. And we have East Hill. And there we go. East Hill. And we'll come down to there. Okay, so that is East Hill. Drive, I think. Actually, it's just called East Hill, but we'll call it Drive. <coughs> Then there's E Heights that comes up here. Okay. So that is E Heights. E Heights. Okay. That's what it's called. We're moving up a little bit. So we have um, East Place. East place, just like that. Okay, both called East Place. So East Place. We'll call this East Drive. Oh no, we already have an East Drive. So we'll call this East Crescent, just to give it a different name. Although it's called the same thing in real life. And. There's a little road that comes through here. 
like this. Okay, it's a little crescent, but it doesn't have a name, so we'll leave it unnamed. And then there's another park that comes in here. That is called AS Wright Park. And there's another park here. There's plenty of parks in this area. No shortage of parks in this neighborhood and district. So that is going to be called uh, AS Wright AS Wright Park. AS Wright Park. And then down here we are going to have the Kistakin Park. Okay, so Kistakin Park. Kistakin, Kistakin Park. There we go. All right, okay, so this area is developing well, and let's see what the park's at. So still two-star, but well, soon it'll be three-star. Uh, 52 people visited the park last week. We have a total of 1971 visitors, and we need 2,500 to get to a level three park, which should happen soon. Okay, so then let's, let me fill in the remaining quadrant here of East View. Let's take a look and see how that's going to go. So, um, okay. So we have McCown Avenue in Porter, and then there's another big park that goes in here. Um, okay. So this road coming this way like that and it is called McCown Road I think is how it's pronounced McCown Road okay and this was uh, that's actually Adelaide Street that should be named and it will also be extended because it will just come right in so it comes in and curves down a little bit into there. So that is Adelaide. There we go. Um, we have Porter Street that also runs right through. Okay, so that is Porter Street. Porter Streets, okay, and we're going to have Lutana Kiwanis Park, let me get the spelling of that, but Lutana Kiwanis Park, okay, and let's go ahead and put in the park area, so another park goes in here just like that, there we go, alright, so that is named and done. Okay, so that area is just about done, I think. Um, let's see for transport, uh, not transportation, education. So high school capacity, we're good. Elementary, we're also good. Um, city's making eleven thousand three hundred seventy dollars a week, and we have five hundred seventy-eight thousand seventy-nine now thousand dollars in the back, which is also good. So the Stonebridge area is bustling with activity. Might need uh, a couple of uh, commercial zones. So I just go ahead and put those, put a, put, put a couple in here. There we go, just like that. Um, I'm going to put some entertainment in this area. We are we are lacking entertainment. So uh, this is a subway. I'm going to actually put in a Starbucks over here. Um, I will put another Starbucks over. here. Uh, here if I could fit it in there we go and I will put another Starbucks over here that should help out with uh, recreation and therefore land value okay that is better um, I should put one in this area as well I'm gonna put a subway in this area though so let me just go ahead and put it over here it's more central to the area I'm targeting. 
and that should turn a little more bluer in a moment. There we go. Oh, bright blue. Perfect. Okay, so that's not enough entertainment for this area. So let me get another Starbucks in here. That should help that area out. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want to see is bright blue everywhere. Okay, and I will put another subway over here. Let's keep the land value up. There we go. Okay. So now, there is a school that comes in here, and I have a lot of space to work with, so I'm going to take a larger elementary school and put it in there. By larger, I mean larger by area. That's a high school, so now. Um, elementary school. Is that a l larger elementary school? How many people does this hold? 400? Well, that's about right. I'm going to put it facing here instead. There we go. I'm going to put that in there. Then we're going to get some fire service and EMS. And so there's the fire. And let's get the EMS as well in there. And we're going to just simply call that East View. So East, East View Fire. East View Fire. And we'll set that to random. And we'll change this to East View EMS. And we'll set this to random as well. And then another very important thing that I'm going to do is remove all of the traffic lights that were put in. There we go. Oh, it's a lot of traffic lights that were put in. So we're going to just go ahead and take all of these out. And there we go. Oh. Look at all the people transiting, just walking back and forth. They must be transiting between this area. Yeah, they're transiting up and down between Stonebridge and coming up to the city. Uh, so I think that uh, a transportation network will be in order soon for us to put in so that Sims can easily commute between back and forth uh, between work and school and wherever they are going to. Okay, so let's remove all those. Okay, so these were also put in. Just check along here. I guess I didn't remove these either then. Yeah. Okay. Let me go ahead and grab those. Let's take these. Oops. Let's remove it. Remove, remove, remove. And let's remove these as well. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, it looks like we got the main. Oh, there's one here. Only one that was missed. Okay, is there, any, is there anything else that uh, I've missed? Any other traffic lights up here? No, no traffic lights missed up there. Okay, so then that is good. So uh, we're in need of some more commercial. Um, I will go ahead and put some more commercial in. Let's go ahead and put that in there. And I'm going to go ahead and make a park make one of these parks. I'm going to start with the Harold Tatler Park because that is where we're going to be putting our next residential area. So it makes sense to start with that one. So let's go ahead and put a small main gate. Put a small main gate over there. And I'll put some side gates in just like that. And let's go ahead and connect this to there, this to here, and this to here. And that is done. So let's put in the park plaza. And let's see how much, how many amenities we're going to be able to get in here. So if we can get it to be a higher level park, put that in there. That's the chessboard. Then let's see if we can get. I will put in a couple of playgrounds, even just to start with. One, two. Oh, good fit. Okay. So now let's see restrooms and all that. So let's start with the park cafe. Uh, yeah, I can get it in there. Restroom, I can get it in there as well. Info booth, I will put that over here. And let's see, what other space do I have? Not too much. Mm, unless I make another path to over there. What's the score right now? 760. So I think I will do that. I will make a second uh, or a fourth actually in this case side gate here 
I'll put another path here. And then I'll be able to... Um, actually, let me just move this a little bit. It looks a little straighter. There we go, that's better. It's nicer to look at. Um, okay, and... No, I'm not able to put that in. Okay. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to fill these in with gazebos. Those are a good uh, fill-in for space. Let's put these on here. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, I think that's okay for now. We might be able to put in some commercial zoning over here later on. So let's see what that gets us. A score of 954. So that could be a level 4 park. That's good enough. Let's turn on Celebrate Night Tours. And that is good. Okay. So then I'm going to bring residential, uh, not residential, uh, commercial all along here. Let's see. I'm going to use the fill tool on this one. And I will put commercial along here as well. And I think that's good enough for the moment. Let's go take a look at how um, Stonebridge is coming along. So its population now is just about almost at 3,000. The city population is at almost 10,500. So that is coming along. Well, let's see how the schools are doing. So half of the high school is filled. And we have, well, not half of the elementary school filled. So we have plenty of uh, elementary school space. So that is good to see. Okay. So let's see if there's any roads that we're missing at the bottom of the East View here. I am kind of curious. Uh, yeah, there definitely are some presents we could put in here. So we'll start at uh, Preston and Wilson. And we'll put in uh, oh, Cumberland South. Oh, oh, that goes to there. Okay. So we'll go just east of Cumberland. We'll go to Middle Middleton Crescent, which will come in here. Uh, straight line tool, rather. We'll put in. There we go. So that is the Middleton Crescent. Okay. Middleton Crescent, and we'll put another Crescent in here, and then I'll find out what it's called. Go to there, and bring it up. Okay, this one is called uh, Real Crescent. Okay, Real Crescent. All right, so, and then moving to the east of Preston. Ah, we have East View. I already have that in, yeah, but they're all called East View. That's that's the thing. So, well, it makes it easier. But I mean, they're all called East View. So we'll just go ahead and call it East View. There we go. And that is also East View. East View. And let me just remove the traffic lights that were put in there. There we go, and there we go. Okay, so that takes care of that. And it looks like residential is climbing again. So let's go ahead and put in some residential zoning. I'll put it near here. I'm assuming there's a school around there that's close by. And I'm going to put it in here as well. So, we'll make that residential. We'll make that all res. We'll make this all residential, actually. Okay. Oh, look at that filling up. So we've already got people moving in. AS Wright Park. We will not fill that with residential. But I can fill this area with residential, or should I? Uh, maybe I should put in a little bit of commercial around here. I'll put this as commercial, 
and I will put this as commercial as well. And the rest of it could actually be residential and use the fill tool. There we go. So that could all be residential for sure. And let's see how many people moved in. 22 people so far have moved into Eastview. Okay, and anybody visiting the park yet? Oh, wow, 34 people have visited the park. They must be walking over from uh, quite a distance away to come there. There's um, more people have visited the park than there is population in the district. Okay. That is coming along well. Let's take a look at Stonebridge. So 3,000, almost 3,100 people. Land value is 57. Uh, square meters. Um, let's see what city services there. Okay, so lacking a little bit here. Um, maybe I will put in a luxury park or a luxury playground rather in this area for people. No, it just makes sense. So we'll fit there. I can fit it here, so I'm going to put that in there. We're going to need some. There we go. That did the trick, and uh, everything was bright blue. Perfect. All right. So that is done. Okay. Oh, a lot of people crossing this bridge. So we'll definitely have to get transit in here sooner. I think that that's what we will probably work on next time is putting in transit for people so they don't have to walk. They'll be able to get to their destinations um, a bit faster. So why don't I go ahead and just fill this in with residential zoning um, and let that build up. And there we go, just like that. And we'll make that residential as well. This could all just be residential. Blanket residential area. Okay. Ah, we'll make this all residential. Little houses can come build here. I have no problem with that. I think we have enough commercial in the immediate area. And if we need more commercial, we have lots of space down this road here. I'll make that residential as well. There we go. And I will make this area residential as well. Well, I think that we need to put in some city services here. So let me go ahead and I'm going to fill these in and then... I will take a look at what city services need to go in here. Fire and EMS is, I think, a given. And I will surely go ahead and do that. So let's take a look here. EMS is, no, it's not covered in here. So let's put an EMS station in here, and let's put a fire station in here. Just like that. Okay. Oh, I made some people even over here happy. Happier. Okay, so we'll call this the uh, Prime Rose EMS. Prime Rose, oops, Prime Rose EMS. And that will be random, and the fire will be Prime Rose Fire. Prime Rose Fire. And that will also be random. And we'll get that done, put that in, okay. So that'll help out with land value a little bit. I don't think that there's a school. I'm not going to double check. Let me see if there's a school that comes into this area at all. So let me go ahead and search this area. Um, there is a driving school, but that's not exactly the kind of school I was looking for. Um, I'm looking for an elementary school. It's giving me everything under the sun here. Uh, there's no school that goes in here. Oh, well. So then I will not be putting a school in there. That is fine. Let me just take a look at commercial needs. Um, I, I think that this should be. This should be commercial here. And then this should be commercial. And uh, that could be commercial. That could be commercial. Well, it's good enough for now, I think. I hope. It should be enough to satisfy the demand of the Sims at the moment. I will put this in as residential. That can build up. Did I miss any areas? Oh, I missed this area here. Let me fill this in with residential. And um, 
I'll put this in as residential as well. And then maybe we could put some commercial up on top here. And that should be okay. There we go, just like that. Well, the Bona Vista Park. How's that doing? Eh, so so sluggish. Sluggish. Uh, 14 people, 11 people, uh, 32 at Churchill. That's making a profit. That's doing really well. Yeah, let's take a look at the Harold Tatler Park North. Wow, 41 people last week and 257 so far. So that should level up to a level 2 park pretty soon. And is it making money? Uh, it's not breaking even. And let's go take a look at the Alexander McGalvery Young Park. Oh, that is making a profit of about $300. Uh, so 56 people came there. 2,838 visitors out of 5,000 until it gets to a level 4 park. And then it will make even more money, which is excellent news. Oh, I think I didn't miss that. Um, yeah, I did miss that. So let me fill this in as residential over here. Mm, there we go, just like that. Let me grab that there too. Okay, so we got all that area. Fantastic. So city population is actually up to 11,000 people so far. And that is going to conclude this episode of our build of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan for today. And thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, follow, and like the video. And I will see you back next time for our build uh, of Saskatchewan, uh, of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Uh, when that will be shortly and until then um, I wish you well